We know that the Neanderthals used fire. We don't know if they can make it, though. Making even the simplest friction fire requires the ability to perform a huge number of steps in precisely the correct fashion and order. If the Neanderthals could make fire, they probably used a variation of the hand drill, which is one of the simplest fire making methods and still found throughout the world today. The fire kit that I'll be using today is made from the bloom stalk of Sotor, a plant that is related to agave from which tequila is made. This is what the business end looked like after my last fire. Before we can use it again, we need to make that end really, really flat. You want all the friction concentrated on the outer rim where the speed is the greatest. Next, we're going to pare down the sides again so that all that friction is concentrated on that rim and it doesn't bind in the hole. Perfect fit. The last step is making sure that notch is perfectly shaped. The notch lets in oxygen. It also pinches the dust that's formed, which will create your ember. So you want it to look like a V from the top, from the side, and the bottom, nice and sharp. For tinder, I'm using juniper bark, which is really flammable because of its natural resin. However, whatever tinder you use, you should finely shred it. Roll it between your hands, twist it, tear it, get it as fine as possible. Once it's nice and fine, you want to compact it and make it into the shape of a bird nest. Time to start the fire. First, I spit into my hands, which helps my hands stick to the spindle. Use one foot to steady your hearth board. Place a small piece of bark under your hole and give it everything you got. Once you see smoke coming from the pile of dust, you know you got an ember. But I'm going to go a little bit longer, just to be sure. Your ember is really fragile, so treat it like a baby. Don't blow on it, just fan it, and then carefully drop it into the nest. Cradle the tinder bundle in your hands, gently fold it in, and then blow on it with long, steady breaths. <laughs> 